Hello and how are you all today? The question says find the derivative of sin x square with respect to x from first principle. Let us start the solution. Here let y be equal to sin x square. And let change in x be small increment in x whereas change in y be small increment in y. Right. So we can write that y plus change in y is equal to sine x plus change in x the whole square. Let this be the second equation and let this be the first equation. Now on subtracting the first equation from the second, we get change in y is equal to sine x plus change in x the whole square minus sine x the whole square. This further implies change in y. Now here we can write it as can be written as 2 cos a plus b by 2 a is x plus change in x the whole square minus sorry plus x square upon 2 sine x plus change in x the whole square minus x square upon This further can be solved and written as change in y is equal to 2 cos bracket x plus change in x the whole square plus x square upon 2 sine sine 2x change in x plus change in x the whole square upon 2. Now on dividing both the sides by change in x we get change in y upon change in x equal to 2 cos x plus change in x the whole square plus x square upon 2 to sine 2x change in x plus change in x the whole square upon 2. Now this can be written as change in x. We can write it in this form also. That will be if we divide and then simultaneously multiply. 2x change in x plus change in x the whole square upon 2. And hence we will multiply it by. 2x change in x plus change in x the whole square upon 2 the, the whole upon change in x. Now taking limits that is limit change in x approaches to 0 on both the sides. Now this will be changed into dy by dx equal to limit change in x approaches to 0 2 cos x plus change in x the whole square plus x square upon 2 into limit change in x approaches to 0 sin 2x plus change in x sorry 2x into change in x plus change in x the whole square upon 2 the whole upon 2x change in x plus change in x the whole square upon 2 into limit change in x approaches to 0 2x plus change in x upon 2 into change in x. So now we have using the limits dy by dx 
equal to 2 cos x plus 0 the whole square plus x square upon 2. This will be equal to 1 into 2x plus 0 upon 2. That on simplifying further will be dy by dx equal to 2x. Here x will be the remaining thing. 2x cos x square. As x square plus x square will be 2x square. And on dividing 2x square by 2 we will get x square. Right. So this is the required answer to the question given. Hope you understood it. Have a nice day.